can even stretch him a little bit more. Oh, that almost feels good when he does like that. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I got from this guy here to this guy. The first good approach for designing a complex character is to start simple. Also, those ridges here uh, also function as kind of like eyebrows would actually have this beetle structure because that's that's his thing. He's like a beetle robot. And at first, uh, when you see it, you think like, oh my God, what? how did you, what did you do? What's going on? I didn't create it like from top to bottom, like do, 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 do. It was a layered approach. Underneath his mask, there is also like this protective sturdy structure. And again, this looks super complex, but in the end, it's way easier than you think. So it looks like a cardiovascular system. And I thought like, okay, I will definitely double down on that. If I hide it, you see those cables don't connect at all. So as you can see, this whole body is moving. Ooh. The cables bent. It's always good to have a simple rig and then sub rigs basically, or secondary rigs that drive all the details and all those mechanical parts. You see the pistons moving. Um, or the lower parts. So let's see, I, did, I tested it, but not like super thoroughly. So now we can stress test it and see how it works. But no, everything looks looks really good. We can even stretch them a little bit more.